would your world look like, you know, if this bill, if garnish support, if it comes to pass, uh, goes into practice, how would it change the experience that a lot of us users have as it relates to using, especially in the U.S. here, our iPhones in the App Store? Those third-party apps and developers would have equal access without these exploitive fees and without the intimidation and stranglehold that Apple and Google impose. And Senator Blackburn is right, and it actually was very dramatically demonstrated, not only by the epic trial in suing Apple, but by the hearing that Senator Klobuchar had in the antitrust subcommittee of the Judiciary Committee, where we all serve. These kinds of barriers to competition really prevent the lifeblood of our economy, which is innovation, from going forward with new apps and new designs, innovations, lower costs to consumers. So this world would be a lot more hospitable to innovation and invention. A lot more hospitable. And Senator Blackburn, and again, I'd ask you to elaborate on that. Does that mean that I, as a user, might have multiple app stores on my phone? Um, are these provisions that would more relate to developers and their ability to kind of have that one-on-one -on -one data relationship with me as the customer and have better communications? Um, what is the end goal here? Well, you will see a little bit of all of that. You would have other app store opportunities if you get rid of some of this anti-competitive behavior. You know, we've talked about the Epic situation and looking at this payment system and being forced to use the app store's uh, in-app payment system, preventing developers from communicating directly with consumers, you know, having to go through that, that app, such as, you know, to offer them a chance to download an app directly from the developer's website, which many users of apps would like to have that direct interface with the app developer. So I think you would see greater uh, um, business to consumer communication as well as more options for an app store that would host some of these innovations. What about, Senator Blumenthal, the case being made here that if Apple and Google, just for example, do not control some of that in-app payment system, some of the other application distribution tools that you could open a lot of consumers up to fraud, to cybersecurity issues, to privacy issues. Many of the things that these gatekeepers, so to speak, do is protect people's privacy and user data. That's the case they would make, right? That's the case they are trying to make. It is totally a pretext to maintain their monopoly position. And it is not only disingenuous, it's ironic because they're the ones who are actually invading privacy and stealing data from the developers. And all the while they're saying, oh, well, we're the privacy protectors. In fact, our legislation in Section 4 has a specific provision that protects privacy even more than it is now. So this kind of argument is totally bogus, and I think it is going to be absolutely transparent that actually privacy would be better protected with this legislation. All right, a bipartisan look at big technology. Thank you very much, Senators Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee and Richard Blumenthal of Connecticut.